Alright my friends, so I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. That was certainly a war I don't want to repeat. Uh, I forget how many we killed, but it was probably at least 22 million dead griffins. I mean, my gosh, we lost like, lost like 1.5 million, but my god, that was insane. Uh, but let's go talk about this first, the pony on the griffin throne, the griffin emperor's defeat is set on our lives within our hooves. The burden of picking a successor now falls upon us, and we can think of no better candidate than our own beloved grand prince. While the idea of a, idea of a pony emperor or a griff, of a griffin empire might seem strange, our griffin subjects will soon come to love and respect his majesty. We, lose, we lost political power, we lost stability, and we got a lot of core states and upset every griffin in the world. Well, I don't really care, because that's pretty much going to be the campaign, my friends. We're out of focuses to do. Um, yeah, that was actually a lot of fun. Uh, but I remember, uh, right now I am trying to, like, get Diamond City, lower their autonomy as much as possible. That's why I wanted to save up political power, but whatever. And I am trying to go to war with the fir trees, which... We've got two weeks left. We might as well do it, right? We might as well do that. Um, Yeah, this was... This was nuts. You saw me, like, shift rapidly, like, earlier in the war, when the Griffonian Empire, like, inv navally invaded me down here. And then they grew really large, and then I had to peel off the, an entire field marshal's group just to kill them and reach them before they actually overtook us. So, uh, yeah, that was insane. We beat them back. We beat them even forward. We didn't capitulate them within a year of that Braj Dobrin or whatever, uh, uh, event which gave us a lot more attack and a little bit more defense. So, it took a little extra time, but my gosh, the sheer amount of carnage that must have incurred on the front lines. I mean, it was ridiculous. At one point, you saw that I had like 100 minus 120,000 guns. Like, that was insane. Minus 10,000, 11,000, 12,000 pieces of artillery. I mean, oh my goodness. But we managed to pull it off in the end because the AI, first of all, is not very smart. And I just stopped attacking, because I, I noticed that we were starting to run out of manpower. We are done mobilizing. I even had to go to uh, Scraping the Barrel, which is nuts. I don't like going to Scraping the Barrel, but let's actually go to Alt Alt Serve, because that really, really hurts you. Oh, come on, guys. Let's just go all in. All in. Um, just, this is probably one of the nuttiest campaigns I've ever played in Equestria War. But regardless, for the most part, I would say with Heritage Land taken care of, with all this place to take in care of, I think that's a really good place to leave the campaign. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching, and you have a great rest of your day.